time to time on this show, we like to bring you something a little educational. No, no, don't change channels. It's not that educational. Ken Garfield's favorite place, the kitchen. I was looking at my YouTube channel stats, and I've noticed that a lot of you are looking at my Garfield video. But alas, that video, it has no full tutorial. So, I was thinking about doing a new one. I'm going to do a relief head of Garfield, and I'm going to show you step by step how I did it. Working with the cursed white clay. So I've cleaned my hands and still what I do is I cut a piece off of my white clay or if I have some other clay that's scrap and I will just roll that piece of clay around in my hands until I've fully gotten all the little pieces of dirt that I didn't notice before. Didn't clean off while I washed my hands. You can see some there. Make sure you're getting all the little nooks and crannies. It's a good idea to press your nails into the clay and that pulls out more stuff. See, this clay is probably getting fairly filthy now. Little pieces of hair and what have you. And I thought my hands were clean. I've conditioned this clay already. I'm going to pre-make the eyes. So I'm going to slice a piece off. Being rogue dirt. I'm just scraping it off. I'm going to add it onto my scrap clay if it's not too far away. Putting my blade on that. the consistency of female white you can kind of when you get it to the right softness you can pull it like taffy and kind of wipe it so it's nice without fingerprints on it I don't normally show all this cleanup while I'm sculpting so you might think oh she's amazing she has no dirt in her sculpting, but I do. I just edit it out because it's kind of boring to watch, but I think it's important for you guys to see this for, especially for sculpting with white, that it is a challenge. It's a challenge for everybody. It's uh, something that unites us all. Next comes the hard part, waiting. It takes a while. Hold on. I think it's taking effect. It's starting to work. Yes, it's working. The glass I'm using is from a frame and I just popped it out and I'm using that as my surface to bake on. It's nice to be able to put the clear glass on top of your pattern to see it. It makes it easier to do a more precise replica. These eyeballs are ready to bake. So I've already mixed this clay and conditioned it before, but I've let it sit for a while. So now it's kind of stiffened up again. So I'm just working it a little bit so that I can sculpt with it. This could take a while. Shave down in the middle so that the eyes can lay flat because the bottom of the eyes are flat. See another bubble there. Let's see if that works. Now I'm going to press the eyes down. I'm really pressing them hard in there. Trying not to break them, they're pretty thick. Next, I'm going to work on the ears.
black acrylic paint to paint on the details. I'm going to start with the eyes so he can stop looking so creepy. The smart thing to do would be to practice. I'm going to practice on this guy. Notice how I'm using my pinky to stabilize my hand. I'm going to use my beveler do the dots or the whiskers. Wait, that's me. So I really hope that that was helpful and that you guys decide to make your own Garfield. Please show me what you've done. I really want to see. Bye.